Hey guys, this is Ash, and you're watching Wild Gash. So today is the last day of the Tubeathon, and I am so excited to have the opportunity to do this video challenge because I never thought I would do a single video challenge. That was just not what I expected from this week, and I am glad that I was able to participate in this week. And Honestly, I'm proud of myself for doing every single video challenge. Although I was a little late with the second one, back to the point. I uh, so this challenge was given by Ariel from Ariel the Set, and she runs Cookiethon. And I just want to thank her for creating this amazing week for all of us. So the challenge is storybook, and we basically have to tell. Uh, so basically, we have to talk about a book that means a lot to us or a reading experience that. So for this one, I'm going to talk about winter. Although winter is not something I usually talk about, the Lunar Chronicles is not something that comes up often in my channel. It the whole series means a lot to me. It's one of the first series I read. I mean, although I started reading back when I was eleven, like I kept reading these same books over and over again, like I've mentioned before. And it was only after I picked up the Mortal Instruments that I started to want. That I wanted to read other than the same thing over and over again because I had missed out on the Mortal Instruments for so many years because I found out that those books existed when Heavenly Fire came out and I realized that I didn't want to read the same thing over and over again and the Lunar Chronicles just I came upon it by chance I I had just finished reading the Vampire Academy and I was looking for a good read and. I saw this review about Cinder, and I was like, I need to read it. So I picked it up, and at first I had a little bit of trouble going through it. But when I finally reached like halfway, the halfway point, I was so immersed in the world. It was amazing. But the reason I am talking about Winter is not because of that. Winter was the first book that I actually had to wait for. I read Cinder back when Quest came out, so the first three book I breezed through, but I had to wait for the fourth book, and I had never in my life waited for a book. I read Mortal Instruments after all the books had come out. Lady Midnight had not come out yet, so there was no waiting for that at that point. And the stories were complete. There was no cliffhanger. There was no waiting to see what happens next. And I wasn't used. And like we, I waited for this, and it was like the experience of anticipating a book to come out. It was amazing. I bought this book the moment it came out. I actually had to wait, and the wait was killing me. But at the same time, it felt so good to have something to look forward to. And this is also the very first book that I read in one sitting. I could not put it down. And it's not a perfect book. In no way is Winter a perfect book because no book is perfect. Every one disagrees with at least one thing in a book. And yes, I've had a few disagreements with this book, but it was just I just couldn't put it down. I remember we had a party at home that day, and everyone was around, and people were in my room. We were talking, but even when I was talking to those people, I wouldn't put it down because I was so immersed in it. And it took me 24 hours to read through this book, and I absolutely remember that I couldn't pay attention to the people sitting around me, and I just kept ignoring others to finish this book. And when I reached the part, when I reached the end, I was like almost in tears. And I don't cry when I read book. I've said this over and over on my channel, and I did not cry when I read this book because I just don't cry, anyways. This book was literally tearing me apart, and I just love books that can do that to me. It's it was just amazing. The whole experience was really special to me, and it was beautiful. And I really, really, really loved reading it. Although I have yet to reread the series, and I don't know if I will. But these books are like a fond memory in my head because this is the first book I had to wait for. This is the first book I read in one sitting. This is the fattest book that I read in 24 hours. And that's the perfect story for day 7 of Book Tube with Dawn because it's the 7th. And another reason this is the perfect book for Book Tube with Dawn day 7 
is because this is the seventh series I picked up in my entire life. Anyway, so that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what a special book to you and why it's so special. Anyways, bye.